I've had a plant for about two months that was actually bought to be eaten, but God put it on my heart to grow it instead. Today when I watered it, the Holy Spirit spoke to me and I believe that this word is not just for me. And I believe it's uh, reminiscent, if you like, or it mirrors what many of us are going through. So when I was watering it, I noticed that along its journey of being my baby, I've had to repot it. So I've had, because it's getting deeper roots and it needs more room to grow. I've noticed the stems are getting thicker and it's getting taller and bushier and it's looking greener. And I've had to water it bit by bit. I give it as much water as it needs from the bottom. So in the source of that it's sitting in, so it can take what it needs. Sometimes I feel like it needs a bit more, but I have to monitor it and I don't give it as much water as, as maybe I could, but I don't want to drown it in too much water because that can also kill it if I give it too much water. And I give it a few drops of uh, herb food in water every now and then, just a few drops mixed in with the water. And I've grown this passion for this plant. And sometimes I just want to feed it up quickly and give it lots of water and repot it again. But that could cause it to go into shock if I repot it again before time and and not watching how delicate its roots are, not making sure that I don't tear any of the roots. And I realised that we are exactly, as I've said, it's reminiscent and mirroring what we are like and what many of us are going through. God has you right where he wants you, okay? And he is taking good care of you and it takes time. It takes time for you to grow. He He has to give you just the right amount of water and just the right amount of feed for you to grow. If he gives you too much, it will harm you. Even what is good for you, if he gives you too much in one go, it, it wouldn't be for your benefit. It wouldn't be for your good. Likewise, if he rehomes you, or if he moves you out of that place, maybe that job or or that position, it doesn't have to be a, you know in a different workforce. It could be in the same workforce, but a different position and anything. It could be applied to anything in your life. If he does it before time, it could cause, again, more harm to you than good. So I'm asking you to trust God. Please continue to trust God because just as I ask my plant to trust me and I speak loving words to it because I know that has an effect, the vibrations, the tones of my voice and the actual, I do believe, energy that I emit when I'm, when I'm loving my plant, we are the same. And we have to be receptive to the loving words that God is imparting into us through the Holy Spirit, through others, through our surroundings, through things we notice you know, through all the various signs. So just trust God, let God water you like that plant, feed you what he needs to feed you, food for thought, uh, whatever it may be, as and when, on an as and when is needed basis. And you will grow, you will grow exactly as you're meant to go in the right, in the right time frame. And when the time is right, he will repot you. <laughs> You'll be repotted. You will have grown, outgrown where you are. And it will be time for you to move on and and be planted into a new, with a new soil, a new pot, you know, a new home, a new, a new position, a new job. So that's what the Holy Spirit asked me to pass on to you today. <laughs> God bless you.